What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Football Manager 2022 Journeyman series. Uh, we've gone to play some more games now and we've really got into the season. We're winning a lot of games, unbeaten, unbeaten from the preseason till now is a pretty good thing. So uh, Dominic Knowles, he's just an amazing striker. Um, him and Jack McKay are forming a great partnership. Hopefully you see that in the games today as well. But you see a 2-1 there. That was pretty tight considering we went behind early. So had to make a bit of a move in that game. Uh, just picture how it went down if we yeah, uh, conceded the first goal. And then only 1-0. So the first few games of the season have been relatively tight. And then at home, we were able to win 2-0. And that's something we've got to really note right now. The home attendances are really, really small, <laughs> to be fair. So the money coming in might not be a lot. Back to what we addressed in the last episode uh, as well. And especially as the last three games have been away, they've been good results. Uh, Leamington, uh, they're not really a very good team in the league. Let's just show you guys that right now. They made a prediction 20th. Uh, we have downloaded, and there's been, like, yeah, there's been an updated version of the skin I'm using, the Zealand FME skin. So, yeah, you'll notice a few things, like there's photos, yeah, player photos on the tactic screen as well. So, a few little upgrades, but yeah, you see Leamington, they're not uh, that great. And Gloucester City 3-3 provided us with a bit of a challenge. They were, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, drawing against the team that's six or they're around that meter prediction, to be fair. And actually, when we played them, they were six, funnily enough. So, yeah, they were right on point. But, yeah, they were, that was a tricky game. They actually dominated us there. I feel like that's the one we want to uh, kind of highlight here in terms of what happened. They had 19 shots, 10 on target. Look, we had half of their on targets um, they had a little bit more XG, two clear-cut chances, and we had zero. We still managed to score three goals, and we only had 34% possession, but we do like to play direct anyway, so I wouldn't take too much out of the actual possession stat. But yeah, that was one team challenged us, and we st we didn't lose it. It felt like they, it looked like they, off the stats, they dominated that game. <laughs> or, or in other terms, they got FM'd. But yeah, and then Nantwich Town, Nantwich Town, like... They're like a FA Cup, early FA Cup round where majority of the players were grayed out. Actually, one of them was David Vaughan. And I was a bit worried about him because technically and physically, um, like, not physically, sorry. Yeah, technically and mentally, he is great. Physically, he's absolutely trash, to be fair, <laughs> just to keep it honest. But I, I thought he would be, uh, yeah, like very good in the midfield basically off those yeah mentals and technicals but it wasn't to be the case but for the first game of the episode here playing against Bradford PA they're 17th and we're playing at home this kind of gives us the feel that yeah we should keep up the form you guys can see how we're playing recently and I think we should have a good result but a good performance as well yeah let's go over team selection this is something to point out as well we're actually starting to get some connections and McKay and Knowles it's an interesting one because we play like a pressing forward, pressing forward and a poacher, but we take long kicks. Like it's like we're distributing, we've slightly distributed to the target man, but we're not utilizing an actual target man though. We're just trying to get the balls to our strikers, and they generally win a lot of one on one battles. We analyze our players again. Like, yeah, he's got good jumping reach and heading 190 centimeters. He could probably be a target man. Oh, we've got to get used to saying target forward, but I feel he's still got poacher abilities about him so we're still we're using him as a pressing forward so you're like that almost doesn't add up why don't you use him as a poacher but yeah it's that he can play actual multiple roles uh pretty well pretty, look <laughs> look with the four star so that's what we found and i mean yeah he's been doing great supporting dominic knowles uh, especially at the same time so he's not as tall he's 178 centimeters but i wouldn't say it's a huge weakness for him at this level they're they're average attributes but yeah that's what we've been uh, seeing as a key thing for us and i'm probably going to bring dunn ahead of man i think he just provides a bit extra he provides a bit extra to the team flowers and wilson are starting to become a very good partnership and it's funny because they're both uh, former burnley youth players so who knows if they, if that contributes uh, Dobbin as well. We haven't really given as much chance to Chaloner. He played the first game, got a 6.1 rating, and he hasn't really got a look back into the team. I've just, yeah, I think Dobbin's been really consistent. And yeah, already building a connection there with Wallace. And so to have like, that's like four, one, two, three, four already. That is quite impressive. So 
an important person, especially the ones that are yeah down the spine as well, the center backs, the center mids, the strikers. It, it goes down to our formation as well. It's still very much in the lower leagues. You just keep it simple, keep your game simple. And yeah, that's what we're doing. And then with our team talk, again, when we just got that good form, so yeah, the pra like everyone's been praising us and just keep it up with that. And yeah, it's pretty motivating. Maybe a couple of defenders didn't react to that, just composed. So I say I have faith in you and look at that, perfect. And now we'll get into the match. Come on, guys. So yeah, sure, we would want to get a good result here, but I'd hate for us to win like a 1-0 or a 2-1 and you don't see how well we've actually been playing. I want to, yeah, I want the lads to show us how I've been performing lately, and yeah, don't forget, like, I haven't really mentioned it too much, but, uh, you know, expectations, just to avoid relegation, media thinks we'll get relegated or go close to it, media prediction was like 21st, and we haven't really felt like that at all, we've been, we've been doing pretty well, and here, Knowles, good position for a free kick, and he goes incredibly close, so no action. This is probably going to get us close to half time now. You know, there might not be another chance. Our, ooh. We're, so, you know, we were considering maybe going attacking here, but let's keep it. Let's not let's not change things up too early. Flowers is on a yellow card. So, you know, we're going to ease him off the tackles. Uh, oh, you can't do that. No nonsense. Okay. That's a goal. That's a goal. Yeah, I mean, he scores... We take that, but we'll address, yeah, we'll address that situation. What I have to do then is just go over to central defender, just switching that roll up to, yeah, tell them, don't go, yeah, don't go in for the, the tackles. You're on a yellow. I'm, I'm very happy that you scored. Don't get me wrong. Get a praise out there. He's like, Gaffer, is, is that what you want to tell me just after I scored? Just after I scored, you want to tell me, oh, he's off tackles. You don't want to praise me or something, <laughs> but nah, it's all good. And see, this is giving off that vibe. It's just, we're going on to do like another job. Like we're a team that's expected to be where we are, where we are, but we're not really. But yeah, we're just going about it. We're finding our way to score and <laughs> that's it. They're playing pretty well there, but defense, that's where it started. See, that's where it all starts. So again, <laughs> knowing me and my luck, this is where we probably concede and doesn't line up to make my point, but <laughs> I know what's coming. Oh, no, is it going to be retracted? It's been disallowed. Great. I like how it says it's been disallowed before they actually go through the VAR thing because, oh, yeah, it was him. Yeah, yeah, Rawson looked offside. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We just want to be a bit more comfortable because yeah, you never know where they can sneak a goal in. Uh, Adam Thomas will take off. We'll bring on Luke Daly. Uh, previously, I've just been using this guy coming on central midfield. He can play there naturally as well. His finishing's only five, so I don't mind him out in that supporting role. Um, his right midfield it, it suits it very, very well. Yeah, winger, right mid on support. So downing here goes to Carter. They're gonna be they're gonna be pushing for something though. Hope we just defend. You just never know what's coming up next in the non-leagues. Tell you that much for sure. Okay. I just never... Oh. For them, it all came to nothing. And then we're just going along and... Yeah. To show this. McKay. McKay. <sighs> Blistering he is. I think a change now, I want to see. Dobbin off, and we can bring in George Forrest. I want to see, he's actually yeah, pretty well um, rated there, even though we got him more as a, so I mean, he's natural as a center back. And then you see at right back, he's still like the same role and duty rating uh, for multiple roles, especially. But we probably want to use him more defensively in, in this kind of situation right now. And yeah, we'll, we'll leave it. We'll leave another sub, maybe the last 10 minutes or so, see what happens. I think now we just drop the standard. Like, you know, we can't go hard for the whole game. Their morale and their happiness, their yeah, body language isn't really looking the best. That's uh, that's falling our way. Uh, key to more. See, now I want to bring on Jack Dunn, actually. He's another one. We've got a few options. You know, we can play him left mid now, but yeah, can bring him on centrally. Can play that role. 
as that, you know, the more creative midfielder or creative sen- central midfielder. But see, this is for, I would hate to concede a late goal. We we haven't looked likely. I think they, that one chance it was offside, but at the same time, we got a goal from a corner today. But a couple of our results have been this way. We've just won by the single goal. And I like how we're playing and building up here. Just don't lose the ball. Don't lose the ball in this position. We're maintaining the possession. That was a bit poor. That was a bit poor, that pass. It's going to give him opportunity now. When the keepers go long, it's dangerous. He goes short. This very well could still be dangerous. It's, oh, just don't make an error. No, this is where, yeah, oh, that was dealt with pretty well. So again, long balls to the target man. Now it's done. who's just come on. Whew, not bad. I'm happy that's how the highlight ended. I was just, <laughs> I was worried they were going to find a way to score. But yeah, today we've created uh, some better opportunities than them. I think we deserve that 1-0 result. So we'll just give a nice and simple praise, keeping yeah, the very high uh, happiness levels. Yep, all good. So with every team having played their seventh game now, uh, yeah, we're top of the table. I say we're clear. We're head of Gated by a point. A couple goals in goal difference, but it's a comfortable position to be in considering our expectations. And something else we tried to do, but they didn't allow us. When you go over the profile, you can ask if you can get, you know, work on your badges. And they didn't let us. <laughs> so in terms of getting our reputation up, if it's not that, uh, we have to almost try and get Curzon Ashton promoted if not getting a job offer from another team. Or don't forget, we just have a contract come the end of the season. So I think we wait. I can ask for your guys' opinions, what you think we do come the end of the season. Say for argument's sake, if we somehow get him promoted, do we try ourselves in the National League? I know it's very, very early, but yeah, from after this episode, we'll continue to play yeah, a bit more off camera just to see how the season's going. If we're looking like a promo promotion or at least in the playoffs here, we'll get deeper into the season. <laughs> That's what we're looking at right now. Yeah, it's seven unbeaten. Like, I didn't expect this. And you saw why today. We're, we're not letting our opponents have too many chances, uh, which is very good. As I said during it, yeah, like uh, the, the defense, and even in the first game, you saw that uh, in the last episode. You saw that we that's really where it all begins for us. And in possession, we are we are pretty comfortable as well. But now against Royston in the FA Cup uh, early round, it's going to be probably a similar to the last one I played. Uh, but yeah, you always like to see a FA Cup and game and how it goes, even though uh, we should be seeing us win. Harry Draper is actually, he could probably play at this level, but then they're going to have all those grayed out players and you, yeah, you get an idea. And they're, when they're, they're all, there's no outstanding. You're not going to see a random highly rated better than the others. Their grade up players are all going to be around that level. So you should see us have a comfortable game. Also, we've had players come to us asking, yeah, play some more. Two other players have done this. And each time we've asked a player to have a talk, fair enough. <laughs> Didn't work that time. I just say, yeah, Keaton Ward's on some good form at the moment. You, you're not the same player. <laughs> you're not the same player. I just... Jordan Lussie... Like... He's a level below him, so... No. <laughs> like, I'm just going to let... I'm not even going to finish, finish the discussion. It's going to get worse. I'll say I'll give you a run of games when I can. Just g leave him happy for now. Yeah, see how we go, but... Is he going to get a chance? We'll have to see. Also, just in the mentoring month, uh, in review now, Alex Curran. I think he's he's pretty good. He can play multiple attacking positions, uh, gets into opposition area. That's going to make him really dangerous, I feel. And yeah, suit the way we play. This is one, yeah, we're just expecting to get the job done. This is where you could, yeah, we almost can't even picture it going the other way, but you don't want to let that happen. We really don't. What we are going to do, we'll just add a couple extras on the bench, uh, so we've got you know, players that can cover all the defensive positions and he's not even going to treat it as, that's not even him, Luke Merrill. Yeah, Lassie. <laughs> so we could have some more players uh, getting unhappy, but the, con okay, Ward off. Lassie, show me what you can do, lad. Show me what you can do, lad. We're going to... This is the thing. No one is really looking like you're getting injured at the moment. If anything, like Lussie is above average, one of the highest 
injury susceptibility. Okay, Koto is, uh, Kuto, uh, we'll bring on Waters for him. So you, you do have to be on top of this, but it's the majority. Yeah, the majority of players are fine with that. So yeah, let's get into the game. So point the finger. I might be getting a bit boring with the team talks, just saying, yeah, you know, we've been getting praise and we deserve that. So go out, go out there and show why, basically. Essentially just a motivating talk. It's mad how things can be in from, like, a previous year. See how that, like, how the touchline tablet, how that looked, where it showed, like, two teams for a second, or both them, but obviously you could change it. And I was like, oh, I wish that could stay. I was saying the same in FM21. <laughs> it's so weird how that happens. All right, early chance here. Let's see what's going to come. Curran, yeah, talked about him a little bit. Sets up Knowles, and this is just going to be... Phew. It was a nice chance created, though. Uh, but then French is going to take the goal kick there. He goes long. Straight. That was almost directly to Waters. I had no idea what they were trying. Or what he was expecting from that. Two of their players went for the header. Uh, miscommunication. Miscommunication. I feel like they're going to be punished for that. I just... I know how FM works. I won't be surprised if we score from this. Yeah. That was... That's going to be... Yeah, we're going to score. That looked like a lucky goal because it was a tap in by McKay, but that was seen as a miscommunication and they needed to be punished. That's what I would be saying if I conceded the goal, by the way. <laughs> like, that that's really what that looked like initially. Obviously, it doesn't show that in the highlight, but yeah, both of their center backs went for it and that was the way. <laughs> that was the way we scored. On the score sheet, 1 0. Let's change it up here. Yeah, let's make it 2. Two would just get us feeling a little bit more comfortable. And here we are. This should be just brilliant play. Wilson falls to McKay, and he does not finish that. We're going to get the halftime. Ooh, I was going to say leading 1-0. Could we make it 2-0? Because they don't look like scoring against us at all. But before we speak too soon, Curran, I hate how that... <laughs> he wins the tackle, but it's so strange how we have to go down. Yeah, they're building up a chance here. See, they could have... Lalana, Has he been doing that bad? <laughs> He's dropped this far down. Obviously. Here's heaps. Lumley. Gotta watch out. That, oh, well, that was the chance, though. That was the chance. So let's not get too ahead of ourselves. A 1-0 lead is definitely not enough. We'll clear this and make it to half time, though. They'll waste this. So again, Astra Charms. Happy. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, straightforward with the team talks. Let me know what team talks you like to do and yeah, how they work for you. I've generally found my way of yeah doing team team talks over the years. Generally keeping my boys happy, and then we come out. It's not always to the letter though. Sometimes you come out and do poorly. Thomas, he's oh he's a nice winger. He just does the typical winger moves. Tries to beat his man, beat his man, get a ball in. Yeah, he's good. And Dobbin positioned really well. Thomas, see, again, finds McKay really neatly. He didn't even have to break stride there. Found his feet. Lassie, you know, he's trying to get forward, trying to get involved. Uh, we do even, like, we need another goal here. 1-0. Need more than that. Curran. He delivered an excellent ball for Jack McKay as we're talking about him as well. He's, I, I just love, like, him and Knowles. We've, I, this is the thing. Two striker formations, especially in the lower league. I, I love how you can get a partnership of two. I hate relying on one man. You're one striker up top. No, I love I, I love building a good partnership. It's just yeah, I really like that. And we're having <laughs> we're having that here. We're having that here early, early in the season. So now you can tell we're kind of in control here. So matty waters let's bring on benny anyone else uh, adam thomas is playing a lot maybe bring on craig Mann, and we'll just make those couple changes for now but you can tell yeah you can tell you you're just not going to see them getting back into the game we're going to be rounding this up now might as well make another earlier change for someone Ooh. we'll leave mckay out there he's on a hat trick Knowles. He's been very important. Let's bring Jack Deitch up top. He's only a two-star, but yeah, that's <laughs> like one of his better ratings as well. Just to show you um, rating for his position, uh, he's an attack. He can be like attacking midfielder. He's pretty well-rounded, so you could probably find another role 
for him. Might just use him as a target forward and put him on support. All right. Last 15 minutes. Last 15 minutes now, 2-0. And Royston don't really look like challenging us, do they? We keep saying that. But it feels to be the case. Deitch. Can we get a third? Now here's Mann. Oh, that was weighted so well. And Deitch, he wasted that, really? How good was that pass? God, that, and you guys might be interested. Like, oh, who's this Zach Lalana? He's not even a real player, by the way. <laughs> Great out. Oh, that's strange. Wait, did we get an injury? They all win What happened? Oh, that's happened a few times. And I've not, I don't mean like on the beta and FM21. In my football manager history, you're like you're looking at something else. You the game's not even continuing. Then you go back and there's an injury. So I'd love for it not to be a long term injury because I've had opinions over that over the years <laughs> about that. Because yeah, we pause the game, we're checking something. I think and then you go back and you get an injury. So anyway, oh, I just hope it's not a long t five to six weeks uh, groin strain. That's I just want to see how that happened. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we take it. We take it on the chin. And then Lussie, who might get his way, he yeah, he probably is going to drop into that position. <laughs> if that's a blessing in disguise at all, who knows? Uh, I'd say getting an injury to a first-team player is never a blessing. But <laughs> yeah, just for the fact for Lussie's happiness, maybe. And if you take a look, yeah, that is one of his better roles, either that Carolero or like a box-to-box -box midfielder. So... Yeah, we'll see how he comes. He's going to get yeah, a decent chance. How much is it going to impact the results? If it is, we're going to find out as we play some more games off camera now. Uh, but let me know. Let me know what you guys think of our start to the season. If you can leave a big thumbs up, a big like on the video as well. As I said, we'll probably try and progress through this season. We're getting a feel uh, early that I reckon at a minimum we should be in the playoffs. But uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't want to be at Kersion Ashton that long admittedly i don't this is not like we're going to take them up the divisions or something like that i want to yeah kind of just get our reputation up a little bit it might be the fact of getting them promoted oh, that will be excellent if we can do that and then we can yeah scour some other countries and yeah because we don't want to be locked down to england uh, that is for sure but let me know uh, your thoughts and opinions if we do happen to end up getting promoted come the end of the season which yeah there's so much more to happen if that is the case but yeah for the just for the plan of our manager's journey and where we go from here. It's always going to be on our mind as much as we're focusing on the current season, though we'll leave it there for now, and I'll see you guys next time.